2024 GMC Yukon Expert Review The 2024 Yukon is the pinnacle of GMC's gas-powered line of SUVs. Although it has a similar seating capacity to the three-row Acadia, the Yukon is a much larger, heavier vehicle that has more in common with the Sierra and Silverado pickups. It competes with its corporate cousin, the Tahoe, as well as foreign and domestic peers including the Ford Expedition and Toyota Sequoia. In Denali Ultimate form, it can even square off against luxury competitors like the Cadillac Escalade, BMW X7, and Mercedes-Benz GLS Class. What's new? GMC isn't making any changes to the 2024 Yukon, but last year brought us a new range-topping model in the Yukon Denali Ultimate. The new trim added full-grain leather, enhanced contrast stitching, open-pore wood, massaging seats, and super cruise. What we think. General Motors builds a trio of enormous SUVs, and in terms of price and luxury, the GMC Yukon is positioned between the Chevrolet Tahoe slash Suburban and the Cadillac Escalade. GMC has struggled at times to justify the Yukon's additional cost over its Chevy counterparts, and the current generation is a mixed bag. The Yukon has its strengths. As you can imagine, the cabin is capacious, especially in long wheelbase Yukon XL, suburban equivalent form. Pricier variants can also provide impressive hardware like air springs, magnetic shocks, and a 420 horsepower V8. The boxy, squared off design looks convincingly utilitarian and tough. The Denali Ultimate even provides an Escalade alternative for folks who prefer the GMC's looks. Problem is, outside the Denali and Denali Ultimate, the material quality struggles to convince us the GMC is worth more dough than its siblings, which are often sold at the same dealerships. The lack of standard driver assists Hertz, too, especially compared to a comparably priced Toyota that includes all those features even on the base model. The Yukon styling, powertrain, and Denali variants sufficiently separate this SUV from the pack, but unless you're spending $75,000 or more, we say go for the Chevy. Performance and efficiency. GMC offers three engine options for the Yukon, two gas V8s, and a turbo diesel inline six, all of which mate to a 10-speed automatic. Every Yukon has RWD as standard and offers AWD, except the AT4 off-roader, which includes standard AWD. Each powertrain has its strengths. The 5.3-liter V8 delivers respectable performance and is the most affordable of the three, while those wanting more grunt will find it with the 6.2-liter V8. Folks who often find themselves road tripping or towing will be best served by the turbo diesel i6, which provides the best fuel economy and highest maximum towing capacity, 8,100 pounds. Engine, 5.3 liter V8, gas. Horsepower torque, harum sazut venut HP, harum nyols von harum LBFT. Efficiency, city slash highway 15 19 to 20 miles per gallon. Acceleration 0 to 60 miles per hour 7.2 seconds. Engine 6.2 liter V8 gas. Horsepower torque 400 HP 400 LBFT. Efficiency city slash highway 14 20th mile per gallon. Acceleration 0 to 60 miles per hour 6.1 seconds. Engine 3.0 liter turbocharged I6 diesel. Horsepower torque. 277 HP 400 LBFT. Efficiency, city slash highway 20-21 slash 26-27 MPG. Acceleration 0 to 60 miles per hour 8.0 seconds. Safety ratings and features. The Yukon only earns a 4-star overall safety rating from the NHTSA, which is cause for some concern considering most vehicles, including the Ford Expedition, achieve a 5-star rating. Although the GMC gets a 5-star side crash rating, it receives a 4-star frontal crash score and a 3-star rollover rating. GMC offers a full suite of driver assists, though only automatic emergency braking, lane keep assist, and parking sensors are standard. Even on the Denali, adaptive cruise control is optional. If you want the best semi-autonomous tech GM has to offer, check out Super Cruise in the Denali Ultimate. Cargo space and interior room.